Hello my lovely charms, before this video starts, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so I can keep making these videos for you. Okay, love you, bye! Oh come on, are you serious right now? You're still gaming? <sighs> oh come on, don't give me that, what's the matter? You know exactly what's wrong. You said that we're going to spend some time together after you finish that round, but you clearly started another round. How can I tell? Just because I don't play games as much as you do doesn't mean I don't know. It's quite obvious. Now come here and spend some time with me, will you? Oh, I've been so desperate lately. I haven't even got any cuddles and kisses. Come on. You've been playing this boring game for the past, like, two hours. Come on. Spend some time with your own girlfriend. The game can wait. But I can't. Oh, come on. I'm not distracting you. You start another round without me knowing. So it's basically your fault. And come on, you can't really complain now, can you? You love the way I touch you and give you kisses, don't you? Mm -hmm. I know you love it so much. You can't complain. Even how bad you try to hide it. I can see right through you. <laughs> mm -hmm. And who doesn't want cuddles on this rainy poor day? Don't you just want to keep warm with me? Beneath my arms. Me just giving you so much love and attention. <laughs> Are you finally going to accept the fact that you want my attention? Good, now come over here. Get on the bed. Let's do some cuddling. Hmm. No, we haven't cuddled in like five years. It's been so long since we cuddled. Hmm. I mean, yeah, maybe. It might have just been like ten minutes, but that's long enough, okay? You can't do that to me. I just want to tell you so many things that I love about you. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love everything about you, but... Stuff that I like in particular... <laughs> on your lovely big hands. Even though size doesn't matter, your hands are just the perfect size for mine. Just look. See? <laughs> My hands are small compared to yours, but that's okay. I like it anyways. I like how soft and veiny it is. Yeah, I find veiny hands very attractive, but especially yours though. <laughs> mm. Look, you're amazing for me, and you're so perfect. And I always want you to remember that. I love how we always spend so much time together. And how you love my kisses and my cuddles. <laughs> I honestly wish we could do this forever. And I feel like we can. Because you're amazing. And you're my baby. And you'll always be mine. Now I remember the first time we ever linked hands together. Wasn't it like in high school when we were trying to compare hands? <laughs> now that was like so dumb, but I actually got really nervous. Knowing that you had really smooth and nice hands. And when I looked at you, you kind of gave me that look, which... Made me think that, oh, 
okay, this person likes me or they want to get to know me more. So I was pretty happy about that. And also your hair was extremely long back in high school. It was nearly covering your face. It made me laugh a lot. And it wasn't because I didn't like it. It was more because of how fluffy it was and how you always wanted to like touch it. But I was too shy to ask. But now I can finally touch it as many times as I want. <laughs> I mean, I love it, and I can't get enough of your hair. And I love the color as well. I love how it just shines when it's really sunny. It has that little shimmer to it. Which makes me like you even more. <laughs> I just adore you, and I care for you a lot. And I always want you to remember that. I never want to leave you. I always just want to put you in my arms like this on a rainy day, or a sunny day, any day, especially winter though, with like hot chocolate and stuff. <laughs> now those are like the best moments ever. I just love praising you and giving you so much attention, because you're such a good boy. And I love you, okay? You're a really good boy for me. And you always listen to me. And that's why I love you even more. And I love how my voice just hypnotizes you and makes you into this type of person. <laughs> I love it. I love it a lot. I just want you to think about all the special moments that we had together. I want you to think about us getting ice cream, us going to the zoo, or even to the amusement park. Those were the best moments we ever had together. And just trust me, okay? Just take these loving moments that we have together and cherish it. Always think about it when you're feeling down. When you just need someone to think about. Always cherish lovely moments that you have with someone. Honestly, I just love you as a whole. Your smile, the names that I call you, my little good boy and my little sweetie and love all the names I give you and even your real name is a really nice name I like it a lot and just know that I love you and I will always love you now it's hard to find people as cute and as handsome as you and that's okay because the only person that I want it's you. You mean a lot to me. And I will never, ever leave you. And I will always give you so much praise. Because you're amazing. And you're loved. And you're extremely needy. <laughs> but you know I like that, so it's fine. Hmm. Hmm. I love just giving you forehead kisses. <laughs> I just love kissing you everywhere. Mm, mm, mm. I love how relaxed you are. <laughs> I love feeling your body against mine. And just brushing my hands around your body and your hair. Mm. You can close your eyes, it's okay. 
Like I said, I'm here to give you all the attention you want. None of your friends can do this, can they? I give you all this attention. <laughs> you wasn't really expecting us to ever be together like this. Especially in high school. Like you always said, I gave you the vibes that I wouldn't ever want to be in a relationship with someone. And you were dead wrong about that. Because you were the person that I wanted. I don't blame you. I was kind of, you know, a little bit on the, the dark side, if you can say, by my dressing. <laughs> but I'm so happy that I got to have you. Mm. Like they say, never really judge a book by its cover. Because they can be the most loving and caring person for you. <laughs>